Most of us figurine collectors, we tend to buy our stuff online, especially from Japanese websites because they are almost guaranteed to be genuine. And more than often, the pricing would be marginally cheaper than your local toy store. However, there is a very special feeling about walking into an actual physical shop, a brick and mortar hobby store, browse through the items on display and to actually buy something, regardless of the pricing. That is exactly what I went through when I purchased this price figurine right here impulsively. Yes, I just spotted it on the shelf. I was like, hey, it looks pretty nice. I bought it just like that. 85 Malaysian Ringgit, which is about 21 US dollars. So, what was inside this box was generally a surprise to me. And that is what we are going to discuss in today's review of this figurine right here. Hello everyone, I'm Steven from X Kurogane Blog and Photography. Today we are having another price figurine review. Ichinose Shiki from the Idol Master. This one is by Van Presto. They make excellent price figurines at a low cost. Regarding the surprise I was speaking about earlier when I unboxed this figurine, what's the size of the figurine itself? It wasn't really apparent because the box size is similar to almost any other price figurine. However, what was inside here was really huge for a price figurine. Let me show you an example and in comparison. That's the best way. I've already taken out the figurine from the box. This is the figurine in question. And I shall bring in a 1x6 scale figurine. This is a rather old figurine of mine. Sakuya Mot Crimson by Kotobukiya. And I'm not comparing their height right here, right? When you compare figurines regarding their scale especially, you look at the size of their heads. So you're actually looking at a 1x6 scale price figurine. Sakuya Mot Crimson, she is 33 cm tall, including the base, including the sword handle. And if you deduct the base and the sword handle, she is about 29 to 30 cm tall, which is already on the slightly oversized side for a 1x6 scale figurine. Most anime figurines at 1x6, they are only about 26 to 27 cm tall. Because anime characters, they are designed and modeled based on Asian characters, on Japanese characters, Japanese people in fact. And for us Asians, we are not very tall people compared to the Western community, the Western population. For example, in my country, Malaysia, 5 feet is the average normal height for adult women. So you would expect something similar over in Japan. And they are reflected in anime figurines. So for a figurine, price figurine, to match a scale figure that is about around 1 by 5.5 to 1 by 6 scale is really impressive in itself. Regarding the overall figurine, of course you would like to know what the quality is like. This is pretty much similar to almost every price figurine out there. Decent sculpting. Very good face plate. I have no complaints about the face. That is the most important part of any figurine. And the paint job is kind of okay. I, would, I wouldn't call it excellent. It is okay for the pricing. And you have your usual mold lines or seam lines all over the place. They are just not as refined as actual scale figurines that cost a lot more. However, there are two things about this figurine that... Once I saw it, I, re I really couldn't unsee it. It bothers me a bit. Maybe I was being picky. The first thing is her sandals right here. If you see carefully, the strap is not connected 
to the base of her sandal as if her feet is glued onto the sandal rather than actually wearing it. It is the case for both legs, right? Both feet is the same case. They are not, connect they are not connected. The second thing about this figurine is also about her legs. There are some floral patterns near her ankle and her feet, indicating that she is wearing semi-transparent stockings. However, her toes look quite exposed to me. So, this is the inconsistency that bothered me a bit, as if her entire leg is covered in stocking except her toes. Very weird. Other than that, the overall figurine looks fine enough and it is quite heavy because it is mostly 100% PVC material unlike the more expensive figurines which can be lighter because they are mixed with several other stronger and lighter materials such as ABS. This figurine has only two parts, does not come with a base at all. So it would be best if you display her in a detolf on a glass surface or a relatively smooth surface in general or you're going to end up with paint scratches at the bottom. The trend I'm seeing with press figurine currently is that they are really getting larger and larger. Perhaps the most famous one would be this particular Hatsune Miku press figurine. In a bunny suit, she stands at 31 centimeters tall, more than 12 inches. It is massive. So the figurine I'm expecting next week is Bandai Spirits Ram. And according to myfigurecollection.net, in that sitting position, she is 25 centimeters tall, which I initially overlooked. But now I can imagine that that is massive. That is huge. It's ridiculous. I'm looking forward to share that figurine with you guys in another review soon. So thank you for watching this channel, for watching this video. If you do have any other questions, feel free to drop down some comments. I will try my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.